building an EPW building committee in order. First up, welcome everybody to the new and renamed EPW building committee. That is our official name. Welcome new member of the Bill and Mr. Mucci. And next one is your organizer. So like a chairperson and a recording clerk or secretary. I was the chairman of the feasibility committee. I have no problem serving if they want for this. So moved. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> if somebody would like to be chairman, I have no problem stepping down and letting somebody else take over. So with that, open to nominations. Anybody volunteer? I nominate Mr. Maximowski. I second the motion. Oh, I got a change of room. <laughs> Is that ready for us? I think he is. Yeah, it's okay. We have motion and a second. All in favor of my Jim as chairman? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimous. Next is a recording secretary. Mr. Iser was the recording secretary for the Feasibility Committee. It's awesome. Are you willing to continue? I will sir? continue. If, if elected, I will continue. Okay. I nominate Mr. Heiser, Mr. Kateri. I second that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else? If not, all in favor of the motion to signify Randy as secretary? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? It also passes unanimously. Okay. Our mission. I think I handed. Does everybody get a copy of the mission statement? I don't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is this the corrected, the, the latest one? Or is it two? Well, I, I thought, have changed it. Some okay, because I, I thought I saw an email that said something about this is used this one. So. Oh, maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, uh, yeah, this is, I mean, this is the uh, mission statement. I think uh, Carolyn prepared this yeah. stuff. It is not, I mean, if we, if we say something we'd like to alter or change a little bit, we can. Um, but it, I sent it around and I said, you know, it looks pretty good to me what our mission is and what our deliverables are. Any comments on anything? No, I, I thought it was fine. Okay. Motion to accept the member, yeah, the mission statement and the deliverables. So moved. Second. Motion second. Any other discussions? If not, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Just the police pass is unanimous. And then they okay, this one I didn't pass out. Oh, there's that too. And this is how to, this is a, Carolyn gave me this. I was going to send it out there, but I said, you know, this is um, something we probably want to look at here. This is the, um, this is the papers. Where you go? One, two, three. I just noticed I'm missing page 13. You just happened. Lucky 13. <laughs> but you're going to get the whole thing. Just one quick comment of um, that. Well, frankly, on the mission statement, just as the members, just to uh, yeah. highlight the. Let me go back. Well, let's let's say, page 13. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Yes. One quick comment about the mission statement it would be to uh, for the members to include the um, affiliation of, uh, of what, what group they might represent in the case of Mr. Heiser, the select board, myself, finance, so on and so forth. If you got a few at large, um, but if there's anybody here on the committee based on yeah, I also work with this group. Uh, I think it would be good to have that as part of it. Yeah. Uh, I put it down here to me. So yeah, there. I saw that. Just so put it next to, okay, next yeah, to your name, inspector. planning board, whatever. Yeah. You know. Actually, I'm a member at large. Oh, okay. I'm not, I'm not a president of planning board. Specifically from, besides Randy? I thought we were going on your experience. Yeah, I was on the... Previous one, but you know, I also got the short straw from the finance committee. <laughs> okay. yeah, go, go represent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> you're you're a low representative select like board, and you're you, you're both DPW, right? Our building maintenance. Our building, maintenance. building maintenance. Okay. 
Um, <clears throat> and everybody else is just a member at large. Well, finance, how finance, finance committee is Andy? Finance Are you a finance committee? Yeah. Okay. And Tom's a member at large? Who is the director exactly? Um, I'm probably representing the building yeah, department. department. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Mr. Chairman, yes. whoever made this mission statement, I find it interesting that any Klopaki can be on this committee. Yes, yes. and Mr. Vermouth. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Vermouth. Any Klopaki. I did correct you. Yeah. We only have one brother that I know of. That, but I think <laughs> I did correct it. I think you're right. There were two versions. Because I, well, I know I misspelled your name. Okay. I think uh, yeah. you're name, actually. Did I say, yeah, A-N-Y is for Andy. Yeah. Okay, so a couple of typos. Yeah. Six names. Mm -hmm. I'll actually fix it before the select board meeting because they're going to yeah. tonight based on your recommendation. Okay. Six, four, it looks like they're. Oh, so they got to come Okay, so yeah, that's an important one. This RFP is also going to still go through. I want town council to review it. RFQ. Oh, RFQ, I'm sorry. Of which one? The, the, the RFQ, the request for quality. Oh, this one, okay. Yeah, the RFQ, the, uh, I mean, this, like she, Carol, it was said, we need to have the town council review, but it's just, a lot of this is taken right out of, probably from other areas or right out of the state books or something, I believe. We have, because we have templates for a lot yeah. of. Um, but the first thing to do is you're going to put a legal notice in a local newspaper of circulation and I believe in the central register. That's a good central register, right? Yeah, once this is approved, right? Yes, obviously, right. I'm not saying we can do it now, but we want the town council approves it, goes into those two places, we put a time frame, and then we will we'll get basically resumes. I'm sure most of you have been through something like this before. Yes, we look at the resume, sort it down to some number of finalists, and then we interview the finalists and check the res check their references. And probably the most important thing we can do is check the references. Absolutely. Because I have heard, I mean, you talk to somebody, you know, I'm the greatest thing since sliced bread. Maybe they are. But when you talk to some of the references, you may find out that sliced bread was pretty rotten. <laughs> um, and there's been a, more than enough, more than a couple of times where people have chosen a OPM only to find out during the process that the person is, like I said, a rotten loaf of bread, mm -hmm. but it's too late to really do much about so they continue to stumble to with them. Um, and then you get people that are truly, you know, great. So you want to make sure that we get somebody that is at least very good. And then once you choose, we choose an OPM, you sit down, you negotiate a price with them, and <clears throat> everybody comes to agreement, then you move on, and you move on to the architect selection committee, and you do basically a repeat of the going for the OPM, but the OPM also puts their two cents in for selection of the architect. And the same process, you go, you know, narrow them down, you know, review, interview them, check the references, and make a choose a company, negotiate, come to agreement. Okay, now everybody is on the same page, and it's a very simple, simplified thing of what happened. But that, that's basically it. Is there a fee um, based on cost of the project, like the percentage? Typically, yes. They, a lot of things, oh, we don't go, they'll do this. But if, when you comes right down to it, most architects and OPMs will base their desired pay on the cost of the project. Um, however, because we're doing a schematic design, they'll kind of, it's a, it's a little bit, uh, um, not quite so clear, but typically the final price for detailed design is based on a pro on, on a final cost um from what i have seen but when you they always have oh well no we kind of go this but we it, you know the more expensive the project typically the more the architects fee and the same thing with an opm they're they're going to put in a lot more time and a lot more effort so we, that kind of makes sense we base the three million on the estimates that we got working with um the engineers 
that worked on the feasibility study. There's kind of a standard, and I, I wish I remembered the percentage, right. um, but I know you're probably used to working with that. Um, so with that that three million is based on what we think the architect fee is going to be based on the total cost of the project as well as the OPM. Yeah. That's how we came up with the three million. Okay, and if we're starting at the thirty million dollar project, well, the numbers I guess, right? And get us to we shooting for a spring town meeting? Um, this, no, no we will not make spring town meeting. No, no. No. Fall maybe? That's maybe fall. Okay. For the full project? Is that I'm what you're asking for? The, for, the, for, the, for the, well, well, the schematic design will give us a price that we'll, for the whole project. Mm -hmm. Will we make fall town meeting? That'll be based, I'm assuming, on a bunch of things. First of all, will we get it done in time? And will the state be coming across some kind of a matching rent, much like school? Because if we just go forward without, you know, we, I think we're all pretty much in agreement. If we go forward with a, th forward with a $30 million project, the chance of getting it by town meeting is slim. They're going to have to have either cut the price down to something considerably less and or get some kind of state grants. Matching whatever like that is in the school thing that that's in, that's in the legislature. I have no idea where that stands. It won't be ready for. I don't think you're going to be able to get everybody on board. And I, yeah, I, I think twelve town meeting is is, is, a, a, is that, a stretch to get this. That, that initial funding, even if that bill were to pass, is is not going to be a, a large chunk. It's it's just not. It's, so what what are you thinking? Out of thirty million dollars, they're going to give you a, a couple. We have no idea. It's simply in legislative. It's it's simply it's, it's sim similar to the school building. What do you call it? Formula. Formula. What do they call it? I, I just call it a formula. Well, they, there's a certain state entity that oversees those projects to decide who's going to get based on your income, guess based on your median income, um, to decide how much a community gets. Typically, it's thirty or forty percent for a school. I mean, schools are. Crazy. You think DPWs are, schools are crazy right now, mm -hmm. and so they they try to spread the money really far. Mm -hmm. So you're really it's they it's, haven't put the committee together, so yeah, they don't know. They haven't even voted on the website. Know how that's yeah. going to work once they do. It. So I I honestly I think the earliest the earliest that you're going to be looking at is next special town meeting. Okay. Yeah. We are in that. The our schedule is we're trying to do big capital projects in the fall after mm -hmm. we've certified free cash. So, so not not this coming fall. Not this following fall. Yeah. So Twenty five. Would it be possible, like, part of this project that we 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 need to do something with either way is the fuel island. Mm -hmm. I know people like to take a little stab at something and you know take a little you know. Do a little bit of a bite of the project to you know take the overall cost down. Well, one part of this thing we have to do regardless is the fuel pumps. We we have to make a decision on what we're doing with that. They're they're problematic. They're closer to life expectancy. Those bare steel tanks, etc. So, would it be possible to like minimally try to get something going for the fall to make some kind of move on at least the fuel tanks? Like if if the project is going as it is, there's states, and that original concept was to put those fuel tanks, you know, on the, the back side of the garage. If that's still like a goal, is that something we could try and move forward with? Just any anything is possible. Yes. Yeah. Once we get new right here. Yeah. Where right. we hire that is because you don't know who you're gonna get for an engineer. You may have an architect. I, I say, well, that's what I'm I saying. They might move the, they might the move whole it. thing 360 right. and, yeah. at, a, at a lower cost. I, yeah. <laughs> I think if we find a, pick an architect, we bring that up to them. That's something that maybe we could work on. Yeah. We're first. If one of the first things we should do when, once an architect is chosen is get a layout. And once you've got the layout that makes sense to everybody, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Then you could probably pick a piece of it and say, well, we could either do the, you know, the salt shed is one or the fuel island or, or this or that. I don't know. Yeah. You know, there's a, we, it, it certainly could be put together in little bites. How much fuel do you guys keep? You got gasoline and diesel, right? There, there are two 10,000 gallon tanks in the ground there. It's way too much. Yeah. 
Now, I guess why why doesn't the cops or anybody like your truck just have a, a Pride gas card and you yeah, buy it at a uh, uh, fuel? We cost. do. We do have. Uh, it, it's called Wax. It's a state yeah. big fuel card. Yeah, yeah. We have them. Yeah. Uh, just for whatever reason, certain people thought that we need. 24 7 available fuel like if the gas stations go down you have another and i get it and i'm not saying you know but if you had five thousand gallons of diesel fuel or had a, a well the, what was it what was the, 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 the new tanks yeah, 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 yeah six thousand yeah because most of our fuel when we contract fuel if we buy five thousand gallons yeah. minimal we get a percentage you, you get ten cents off a gallon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Usually, yeah. usually the cutoff is five thousand gallons. Sure. Yeah. So we we decided six that okay we can still get that five thousand gallon yeah. drop yeah, at, the, yeah. at a minimum. Yeah, yeah. You know. So I, I get just, it. Yeah. yeah. It seems like you know the fuel tanks are for convenience more than anything because right. you're not saving anything. You're spending you know two million dollars to say well, this ten cents a gallon you can get right at price anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, so it, it's more of a convenience thing, and um, the gas is easier. Like the 2011 storm, when all the gas oh, stations yeah. around the, yeah. the town of Amherst was coming to our place because our pumps work on the backup diesel generator. And I get that. Amherst was fueling your highway. Amherst is a lot bigger than we are. Why don't we rely on our neighbors to help us out once in a while? Why are we always the ones that have the newest ladder truck in Northampton? Oh, wow, it's all in truck. You know, get up there. But, but and, and, and you know, I'm not trying to cut you guys yeah. off. These are all good points to be discussed. To be discussed, yeah. you know, in a few months from now, because I don't want to try to. Miss you. But I like get where Scott is going though, yeah. because we're talking, you know, on, uh, somewhere in here. I saw that cost estimate of mm-hmm. way for 2024, 25, and 26. Well, it doesn't seem like. In this quick conversation, we're going to be even building in 26 by the time it gets passed or rejected. How many times, like the schools have in the past, or even just a fire truck, we couldn't get by. So, um, get where, you, where you're coming from, but that's where that we're coming from on the, and it's a $600,000 $600, item, according to the last yeah. year. But, but like, like I was just saying, regardless, the town, the town has to do something out there. Whether yeah. we're removing them and forgetting about it or rebuilding it, it's yeah, just it's it. a process that an insurance thing, et cetera, et cetera, permitting that we have to make a decision on. We've been kind of kicking the can down the road a little bit on it because of this project. Now it's something that uh, was in the pipeline. And it just kind of went cold, but it it's definitely needs to be addressed. I guess once, like Jim said, when the design is yeah. put down, if we needed to bite a piece off, I would say try to put up a um, shell of a building, insulated, so you can get the trucks undercover, plug them in so the motors are warm, and add on from there once more money is available. And, and those are all... Great ideas to be discussed. Well, you know, we're probably shooting at way too much. Once we get a price, the biggest thing is get a, a ballpark design or, or a decent design layout and some prices. Then we can look at it and say, okay, you know, this is, we could do this later. We could, you know, we could, I'm assuming we got a price, a cost estimate. It's not going to be X. Hopefully it'll be broken down in even way more detail than we have. Of like, like I, I've given, I, well, I gave, Everybody's information. I gave Rick and Dave a brief history of how we got to where we are. I gave them the cost estimate that we got from Weston and Samson. That's where there's a two or three page estimate. Yeah. And I also gave them the one latest design we have the layout so that we're all talking on the same page. Where, and these, everybody knows what we're going from and coming to. Okay. Yep. Right. Well, our, our initial task at hand here, though, is to to get to that design. Right. Right. And I guess my my only comment from the from the finance aspect here is that, um, with like with um, many of these other projects that we've seen, with what what we get in delay is almost a, a, a multiplier on cost. So every every year and a half, it seems to you know go up to fifty percent anyway. You know, it, 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 in you look at the fields. The fields started off with 
and a third of their price, you know, and um, or or this building that we're sitting in. So I, I guess that would be one, not that we want to rush along, but just one aspect that people have to be aware of. The more that we kick this down the road, the more it's going to cost us in, 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 in today's dollars. I mean, I, I think we've seen in the last two to three years, because of COVID and everybody, a lot of, call them vendors, for lack of a better term, I would call them companies because guys like Rick and some they're not, they're not getting, they're not, they're not trying to zap anybody with prices, but they're, they're, they're charging an, an insane amount of money to do something because their costs are insane. Yeah. Yeah. You know, look at the, go, go to Home Depot three years, four years ago and buy something and go today. Yeah. There's a, and, and obviously building costs have, have jumped and the thing is, is that for Rick and attest to this. They, they're not going to come down anywhere near as fast as they went up, and, oh, nor it's just going to be a matter of time. And, and, and the new code has kicked in too, which is which just driving yeah. yeah. And, and we're, we're just catching up. Yeah. Of, uh, you know, everybody's accepting the, the newer price. Right. Yeah. It's not coming so down. People are paying it. They're not drop it. A, a sidebar, everybody complained about the cost of building mass shooters and this and that and everything else. And look what mass shooters did to the building code. Well, I just <laughs> they're built in things in a building code, probably driving the cost of a building up. Yeah, I just went to twenty percent easy. I just went to a construction supervisor's class. Massachusetts is yeah. the third most expensive state in the country to build in. Hawaii's first, California oh, second, yeah. and they want to know why there's the guy teaching the class. And you want to know why there's no affordable housing because they made people they have money to jack it so high you can't. How I do you make, uh, from that point, how do you make affordable housing when the when the, when the materials are so yeah. insane? You know? But anyway, that's all beside the point. So anyways, so when so you're gonna give this uh, the the RFQ to town count? No. Uh, I'm gonna I'm sorry, I thought you said this left board. Yes, we're giving it to town council. I just wanted you guys to take a look at it first. Okay, and how long do you think that'll take? A month? I think it will take that long. The, the hardest, the longest part is the advertising, the responses that come back. I mean, every meeting we've got to meet, we've got to set dates up. But that's the, that's what, in this type, where we're at right now, that's the longest. Okay. So we have to give them time to prepare. Yeah, I think it's more like, well, like, you got to do it like 45 or 60 it's days. About, it's about, we, we probably can do it in 30 days, but okay. that's being really optimistic. Two, for them, once they see the advertising. Right. Yes. 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 Okay. So we should review this yes. as a group. Like, like, okay, well, I guess we'll decide when we whether we talk well, I about think it. We typically were meeting the third Wednesday of every month. We wanted to get this one as soon as possible so that we could get this out and probably go back. With, I mean, the third third Wednesday will be two weeks of tonight, but probably seemed like a reasonable time to review this, come back in two weeks and talk about anything that is good or bad or otherwise are to be changed and then give it to town council to review and move forward from there and we can set the next meeting up after that i would think well it would be, be the, it would probably end up being the third tuesday or a month for a third wednesday of every month the reason that works out well at four o'clock is because there's a selectman meeting the first or third wednesday and some many a time the selectman wanted to see something about the building committee had a question so we would just wait around a few minutes and go go right down the hall for the selectman's meetings so next meeting will be next one tonight or 17. Seventeenth. Four o'clock. Time, here. same place. Same time, same place. And uh, like I said, review for that the uh, pretty much this pamphlet that, that, that I was handed. Carolyn printed out properly, completely. Thank you. Um. And then we get that result for the advertising. 
Like I say, go to the newspaper. It's only going to be advertised in the newspaper once. Which is, oh, yeah, right, yeah. They just advertise one time in the newspaper, right? And we can send this to a couple of like people that we want to the workforce before. Correct. Tell them that. You don't have to do the newspaper. A lot of the stuff's not in the newspaper. We don't have to do the newspaper. Hmm? I don't think we need to do the newspaper. I'll, d- I'll double check, but we don't always use the newspaper. Oh, really? Depends on the, um, what we're doing for procurement. But I'll check. Okay, yeah, you can check on that. Way. Because, yeah. I mean, honestly. I remember when we just, I was just going back with the school, we have to advertise in a local newspaper um, in the Central Register, but almost right. nobody pays attention in a that's newspaper. Why, yeah, that's it's why only it's the Central Register is the one that everybody's, right. all the companies that you were, are looking I mean, there's at. There's other places that we put it into that contractors and, and designers look at. Okay. Who, who would have that information? Would that be town council that would know that? No, we have it. We have it. Oh, yeah. There's just, there's, for every procurement that you do, there's different regulations. I just need to have to check with some them. Okay. I can send that out to you guys once I get it. Okay, yeah. If, if you just, care. Just, okay. Yeah. That'd be good. Thank you. Um. In the Jim, with your permission, what I'll do is when I send that out where we need to advertise, I'll also gonna put some dates in for um the whole the whole process of going out to the uh, to the okay. RQ so that you guys can check your dates because you you guys are the screening committee. So you guys will be the ones that will meet and then we'll have to set up questionnaire and criteria right. and a way for you guys to measure. Yeah. Now when we go to do the interview with the as a whole, the committee will review the typically the resumes. But when you do the interviews, we don't have to do it as a complete committee. We can just select a subcommittee of this group if you want to do that. But sometimes the whole committee is, because you're going to be doing so many interviews over a period, a short period of time, it's difficult to get everybody. Whereas a short a subcommittee, the only thing with the subcommittee, it should be the same people right. doing mm-hmm. each interview so that you know, Dave and I don't get this idea, yeah. and Andy yeah. and yeah. Rick get this committee, so we try to compare notes. It's like, well, I, you know, you want to have the same people talking to the same people mm-hmm. all the time. As much just as you can. Consistency. Yeah. Yeah. As much as you can. Right. Yeah. Right. This group is small enough that you could. If one person was out, right. one of them. Right. Well, yeah. I think you're okay role. if you have the whole yeah. committee. I think you're better off. Okay. That's the expectation that's a select where the whole committee has reviewed it and that they're taking recommendations. Oh, great. The whole, that would How just did we do that for the fire department? Was I, thought, or was this I thought it was everybody. I thought it was everybody. I thought it was too. I thought it was everybody. So we did like a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. They each started at the senior center. center. Almost everybody was. I, I thought they were great. What colliers? Yeah. 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 I, they did both buildings. Yeah. I absolutely zero. I would definitely invite them. them. Yeah. I, I would definitely make sure they get it. Yeah. At least an opportunity right. to look at it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's fine. I'm, I'm, if we all want to do it as a committee, that's okay, too. If you guys submit those names and contact person, we'll okay. make sure. Okay. Yeah, the... Uh, so, that's good. I have... That's, that's about what we're going to get going on. So, at the next meeting, we will be able to discuss the RFQ. Be able to set some dates, and um, Carolyn can get it out to the town council afterwards for review. At our February meeting, we can hopefully put forward the proper advertisements, notices, whatever you want to call them, and go from there. Carolyn, when can you tell me? May second, I think. It's the first Thursday. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Anybody have anything else? No? Motion to adjourn. Do you have a second? Second. Any all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is meeting its history. Thank you. Thank you.